Hey guys, the objective of this video is to define a fine soil under the Unified Soil Classification System and we're going to be looking at these things called the Atterberg Limits. So the first thing is, is this Unified Soil Classification System. So this is a system for defining a soil type and I've summarized this in this flowchart which is going to be seen in the next couple of videos. So the first branch in our flowchart is the amount passing through 0.075 millimeters and we saw in the previous video that was the critical value for a fine or a coarse soil. So we first need to work out how much of our soil sample can pass through 0.075 millimeters and for a fine soil more than 50 percent passes through which is going to take us to this thing called the plasticity chart okay it's very simple for a fine soil but for a coarse soil you can see that it's quite a long process um, it looks very confusing but when we do a couple of examples you see it's not that hard at all and the reason i'm doing the fine uh, soil first is because we come to this thing called the plasticity chart which could come up later for a coarse soil depending on which branch you go down. So you can see it's down here as well. So this is the unified soil classification system and we're going to be defining what a fine soil is. So a fine soil is simply when the majority of our soil sample, so say this was our sample, when the majority of it, so more than 50% being the majority, has particle sizes less than 0.075 millimeters in diameter. So we can see that we, have, we would have a sample where the majority is these small particles. We could have a couple big ones, but the majority, i.e. more than 50%, has particle sizes less than 0.075 millimeters.